jury nullification is a lot like medical marijuana. They say we can have it, but they will do anything to keep us from using it. School days, school days, dear old golden rule days. Reading and writing and arithmetic, taught to the tune of a hickory stick. You were my girl in Calico, and I was your silly bashful bone. Aloha, my name is Brian Murphy. I am the director of Maui County Citizens for Democracy in Action. In an effort to educate our neighbors about our civic responsibilities and our civil rights, we are pleased to offer this introduction to the strength of the jury system. It is called jury nullification. Jury nullification is a process whereby a jury in a criminal case effectively nullifies a law by acquitting a defendant regardless of the weight of evidence against him or her. In short, if you are serving on a jury, you can vote to acquit a defendant if you believe that the person is being prosecuted under an unjust law. In the early history of the United States, jury nullification was viewed favorably. One example of jury nullification appeared in the pre-Civil War era when juries sometimes refused to convict for violations of the Fugitive Slave Act. These refusals to convict helped the Underground Railroad operate, assisting slaves in their search for freedom. During Prohibition, juries often nullified alcohol control laws. These verdicts contributed to the repeal of Prohibition. Although a jury's verdict relates only to the particular case before it, a pattern of such verdicts could have the practical effect of disabling an unpopular enforcement policy. Today, judges seem to be less likely to favor jury nullification. While unable to take away the power of nullification, they have done much to prevent its use. The big question is this. Is it fair to have a defendant's fate depend upon whether that particular jury knows it has the power to nullify? On behalf of Maui County Citizens for Democracy in Action, mahalo. And hurry back to school. And hurry back to school.